So his brain is thinking that it's his right hand that's doing it. So we're using that illusion. There's no fancy tools, no high-tech gear, just a patient, a therapist, and a mirror. We use graded motor imagery to work with patients who have either um, lost the ability to use the, a limb or have pain in the limb. I have um, an ongoing condition of uh, both spinal stenosis, which is a tightening of the uh, canal inside your spine that kind of presses on your cord and it blocks the messages from your brain. Oh, first try. <laughs> Good. Basically, part of it is the mirror therapy where you are using an image of the good arm and you're imaging it in a mirror and trying to trick the brain. It's like an illusion that you're looking at your, um, your other hand. Several surgeries and more than a year later, Bob McKeefrey, a longtime fisherman, was left with constant pain and little mobility in his right hand. I could move my right arm, but I couldn't move my right hand. So three of my digits, the last three, were like frozen shut and two were frozen open. He started therapy just a week ago and the graded motor imagery or mirror therapy proved an instant success. There we go. There we go. All my pain, a year's worth of pain went away in one day. There is a memory of there and there was an established pathway that if you can tap into that using vision um, and, and the illusion, then hopefully you can, you know, establish pathways or even use other pathways. Bob is using muscles and performing movements he thought to be long gone. It was impossible last week for me to do this. I could not palm up. There we go. The brain is focusing differently um, on the limb and possibly sending different messages. When I work with patients, they often say they feel a connection, a different connection was made. Patients take the movement therapy home and use it in conjunction with occupational and visualization therapies. And for 10 minutes a day, several times a day, they think of something that they used to do with that arm that really means something to them. For Bob? It would be uh, pick up my grandchildren, because I'm not allowed during this uh, crisis, and they're uh, one in three. He's one step closer. In Pomona, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.